Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to talk about vendors as they pertain to the item master. Uh, and this is this is uh, really important. I, I, everything on the item master is very important, uh, in, in my opinion. Uh, and vendors is no exception. So on the vendors tab, we can see that we can assign vendors. Now, here, uh, this information will travel to every inventory line there is. Now, uh, we know that we have, uh, in, in the IBM demo site, we have a North America and a Europe and what have you. So, <clears throat> this vendor information will be available to all of those, right? Uh, we can, But we can narrow it down by organization or by site. So, if we wanted, here's North America, right? So, let's say we had a site for all, all states, right? So, I could put a vendor for New Jersey, a vendor for California, a vendor for Texas... Uh, Iowa, Utah, I could I could make them all site specific, or I could uh, if I had sites set up by region, I could make them all regional. Uh, you could set up these vendors pretty easily, uh, like you just saw me click new row, and I'm going to go ahead and I could either go to the companies or I could just select value. I like selecting the value; it's a lot easier than going to company. So this is a Bridgestone tire. The first one you're going to go to is Bridgestone. Now, <clears throat> manufacturer. Manufacture is very important. Uh, a lot of people just glaze over this information and it blows my mind. I've worked with a lot of purchasing offices and <clears throat> this information is key to them getting you what you want. And sometimes it's key to looking up the right part. So model number field, obviously, uh, if, this, if there was a model number, if this was uh, a, a, a certain brand or a line of tire, and it had a model number. Obviously, you go put it here. Catalog number. Uh, if there was a specific catalog you were addressing, then here, this, then you put a number here. Promise lead time and days. This is very good information, uh, and it should vary from vendor to vendor. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a, both vendors say, it, uh, "I can get it to you in seven days," but most of the time, one vendor is seven days, another is fourteen, another is ten, another is thirty. Uh, very important, and this is this is for. Uh, uh, Reorder information. This is very important. Tax codes. If if you guys are, are into the different tax codes, uh, but here you go. Uh, very good information to to help you out with pricing. Uh, default vendor. So, if uh, let's say this wasn't necessarily a tire, or maybe yeah, a tire. So you can go online and buy tires all day long, and I think, uh, and I'm not endorsing any any company or another, but you have like uh, Merchants Tires, and you have Sears, and you have, uh, I think Walmart does tires, and then you have like TireRack.com. So if you would like TireRack.com, you can put them as a vendor here and make them the default. And all this does is anytime you know you try to purchase this, it would want to default to that vendor, but you can change it. Disqualified vendor. This is also important. If you get a vendor that's constantly blowing its lead time or constantly blowing the price uh, or sending you the wrong stuff, you can disqualify the vendor. That's very important. Uh, this field actually comes over from the companies. Uh, so uh, really update this because uh, you don't want to be buying from the wrong people. Last price and last order date and order unit. So you know, uh, I'm going to go 285 because we already have that. Last order date. Uh, I'll go ahead and say February 1st. Order unit. We order these in each. Is, this is important information. Catalog web page. So, uh, I guess this would represent a paper catalog. And this is actually the website. So, if this was Tire Rack or even Bridgestone. I'm sure Bridgestone has online ordering. So, I could just copy and paste the web URL right there. Tax you exempt. Obviously, uh, you know, for government agency or whatever, or nonprofits, or, you know, you could identify that there. And then this tax code doesn't kind of really matter. Receipt tolerance, again, uh, you know, are you allowed to receipt for something? Are you allowed to actually uh, buy something that was quoted at eight bucks and is now at a like, you know, 75? Uh, that's where you'd identify that. And here we go with the organization site Again, if this was just the vendor for the state of Kentucky. Then you would, uh, it would be Eagle North America. Then it would be Eagle Kentucky. Uh, so if my information is all correct, I go ahead and save it. 
and then I add a new one I, or another one. Uh, having multiple vendors in here is, is really good because you don't want to be uh, pegged down to one guy cause, or, or one group of people or one girl, whatever. You don't want to be pegged down to, to one uh, one source because if you need to buy it from uh, uh, for next Friday, then you're going to have to go lead time over price. And sometimes you're like, well, I don't need it for six months. I'm just restocking. So I'm going to look at price instead of lead time. <clears throat> All this information is very important for ordering. So uh, it's it's in everyone's best interest that this information be accurate as well. And filled out on every item master. Uh, it might seem like a lot of work, but it, it pays off in the end. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. And if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. And I'll do my best to address them. Thank you.